Hello everybody, in this video I would like to overview in brief this edition published as the 40th anniversary of Tolkien's Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle-earth. As we all know, this is the very first edition published in 1918 in UK with the Numenorean helmet on the dust jacket drawn by Tolkien himself. Yeah. Yet this now quadragenarian is left all these years without proper illustrated edition. Thus, this decision for this jubilizer to be published with the compiled illustrations by Fred Naismith, Alan Lee and John Howe, I consider quite marvellous. For as we all know, this book is a sort of a prequel to the history of the Middle Earth and uh, quite hard to swallow morsel for many readers as well as Silmarillion is. And yet for more than 20 years we do have uh, illustrated editions of The Silmarillion by Ted Naismith. And today we finally got this beautiful illustrated gem of the Tolkien's universe. Edition is of quite comely design, decent and neat as well as all the other editions of this kind, and yet with a bit more details than others. In the first place, the box is all enshrouded in one of Ted Naismith's illustrations of the Blue Wizards, as we may perceive them here, which quite differs from the other uh, deluxe editions of this series, uh, for their boxes are without illustrations and merely with the imprint somewhere on the middle of the box. And this one is quite smooth and glossy as well. When you unwrap it, you will find, as in all other editions, a small flare which presents in brief the very book itself. On this one, uh, we may read that this edition is printed in a merely 4,000 worldwide copies, which is, I would say, a quite, quite limited edition of the book. And the book binding material is quite coarse and resembles some stiffer gauze, as you may see the texture now. See those lines, perpendicular and horizontal. But it's not unusual with such uh, HarperCollins editions, for the Silmarillion cover is as well uh, printed with this texture. Here the sound of it. And as we may see on the upper part of the front cover is an illustration of the Nazgul. It's Ted Naismith illustration um, titled The Hunt for the Ring. And the very imprint is edged with this gilded border as well as the old imprints and titles along the front cover are all in gold print fashion or gilded dry stamp. See the deep of the imprint. It's quite visible and it's palpable as well. The spine is of the same manner regarding the fonts and the Tolkien's uh, estate trademark. On the first opening of the book you will find the two foldable maps printed on the same paper. It's the map of the Beleriand Kingdom and on the other side is the west of Middle-earth at the end of the Third Age. As well as a gift there is a foldable poster with Alan Lee's illustration, The Ships of Numenor, quite marvellous and obscure in Alan Lee's manner. Excellent. The binding is quite exquisite, as you may see here. It's stitched and sewn with this bookmark ribbon, which is in of the same hue as the front cover. And here you may see those stitches. And this back spine is of the finest quality, which is quite seldom with these editions. And okay. the quality of the paper is as well excellent. It's quite hard, as you can hear. 
And um, the title of the chapters and of the headers are printed in blue color. And on the very end of the book we may find a page dedicated to the illustrators. And on the very beginning of the book we may find a list of the plates and uh, 18 illustrations, combined illustrations by, as I said, Alan Lee and John Howe and Ted Naismith. Marvellous, a snow-covered gondoline by Ted Naismith. Then John Howe's illustration of the first appearance of the Glaurung and the Azagal's death. Then Ted Naismith, illustration of Armand Ruth, Mims dwelling. Then the Glaurung, the past the ruined Nargothrond by Alan Lee. Marvellous. Then John Hill's illustration, Beleg, approaching the Amon Ruth. See the details. The blood on the pinnacle. Then John Hull's illustration is the Numenorians sail to Middle Earth for the second time. See those portal stones, megalith stones, and their ships. Then Naismith's illustration. Galadriel and Celeborn at the Lake of Fevendim by John Amroth Hill. and Nimrodel by Alan Lee. Then my favourite, The Earl Taking by Kirion and Earl by Ted Naismith. Then again the illustration for from the cover, the hunt for the ring in total. The first battle of the Falls of Eisen by Alan Lee. Quite marvellous and quite epic in his sheer manner. Just perceive the details. Oh dear, blimey. Such a marvel. Such a such a marvel. Then Druidine in the forest of Hallet. Very interesting illustration. And at length the blue wizards from the box by Ted Naismith. And each of the four parts are ornate with Alan Lee's sketches. Of a single imperfection that I dare say to mention is that the illustrations weren't printed in glossy, shiny paper as it was all in other editions, like we may see here. See the glossy and shiny paper. And here is rather smooth without that shiny and glossy texture. And Mill thinks that the quality of the very illustrations is thus diminished, for many of them are somewhat blurred in some details and not quite clear as we are accustomed with in, in the similar editions. Yet, all in all, this edition is quite excellent for all who are fond of illustrated editions, especially of Tolkien's work, and it's my cordial recommendation to have it in your library. That's all that I wanted to present in this video. 
and thank you for your time and for watching. See you, bye.